Welcome to Between Two Pastries, a not-so-typical nutrition podcast. Nicole and Annie are licensed and registered dietitians. Join them as they discuss hot nutrition topics, challenge popular beliefs, and have a blast doing it. Here are your hosts, Nicole and Annie. Welcome to Between Two Pastries. This is Nicole. Hey, everyone. It's Annie. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the blue zones. I don't know if anybody has seen that documentary that had come out with um, the gentleman who did all that research. He did research for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And he went into some different, very, very, very remote areas of the world, essentially, (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, and was trying to kind of do some comparisons of why there's so much more longevity there and uh, what he kind of learned from all of that. We don't want to sound like we're kind of picking everything apart. Um, And at the same time, I think that we're also trying to sort of take a realistic view on things of what is actually real for our country, you know, unless the entire culture of our country changes. (laughs) You're, you're so nice. And I do to to take it apart because when I turned on this documentary that everyone seems so, you know, like totally engrossed by it was, I made it through one episode and I was like, this is ridiculous. This is this information has been available. Yeah, forever. The blue it's, zones are not new. No, this not has at been all. around for a long time. Yeah, it's common sense. Yeah, this is nothing. I mean, this is nothing new about this. But the one thing that I did want to say that I thought um, was really neat, and I feel like be- people need to to see, to hear, and see that because of the fact that there is such a discrimination between certain body shapes and sizes and Mm -hmm. that um, in this, in this culture in particular um, that that means you're not healthy. That means you're not going to be well. That means you have a disease, you know, that means, and the reality is that all of those same shapes and sizes existed in the portrayal of these people in these blue zones. And ultimately, what did that really equate to? It equated to aging. Correct. It didn't e- equate to ill health. I don't know if anybody's really going to pick up on that. But if, if, if any one of us in this culture can learn anything about that, maybe we can stop pointing fingers or if physicians out there can stop blaming everything on body shapes and sizes that don't fit an outdated model model yeah it's it is it's a super outdated model and absolutely if you look at these different blue zones the body types are are all different types there's different levels of activity there's different levels of phys, phys, of um, flexibility there's different types of foods that are going in and yes there are commonalities between all of them but the one commonality that was never and please message me if I'm wrong, that was never really talked about was how little stress yeah. these areas experience day to day. Not only that, I don't want to say how much free time, but honestly, how much free time? Yes. I mean, yes, of course, Correct. they're they're living off the land and they're doing the thing and yada, yep. yada, yep. yada. But you are seeing people that were just taking hours and hours to commune over a meal and hours and hours to meditate do and do their yoga and putz around and blah, 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 you know, because they don't live a lifestyle like we do. And, and I think, you know, that alone, you could take every other ounce out of that that alone is going to increase your joy for living and your life potentially. And, and again, stress hands down is everything, you know, it is the, the main cause of heart disease, not your burger and fries. It's the stress is the main cause of, so that is the piece too. You'll see a bunch of these guidelines about living in the, in the blue zones. And it's sort of like, again, just find some balance. You know, that's essentially all it is ever, right? This is what we've Mm -hmm. been talking about for years. Find some balance, find some balance, find some, find some joy in your life. There's a chart that we're looking at right now and it's called, called the power nine and and Annie and I were both looking at this going nope (laughs) for the reality of a few different things so what they're saying around the power of nine and I'll just I'll just 
do you mind if I just list these, Annie? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, the first one is like, you know, downshifting. So again, you know, finding some quiet time, which I think is just super important. And, and, you know, whether you meditate or not, I feel like just being with yourself in your body for even five minutes a day, giving yourself some breath, just feeling into your body alone is going to bring down that nervous system and shift your, shift your whole energy ability, thought process, everything. So that alone would be helpful. You don't have to sit there and meditate for an hour. Um, they're talking about like having purpose, you know, having a purpose every day. They also focused, focused on a lot of plant, you know, on a lot of plants, of course, again, this is nothing new. Um, and then they also, these, these groups in general too, um, consumed alcohol every day. And, and I think Anna and I both agreed that we really don't agree with that for a lot of different reasons. And I don't feel like that's the reason why people are healthy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I think that, you know, I think that there is some benefit to some reservatrol that you get in, you know, a glass of wine. But I also feel like, um, you know, alcohol in this country is just Mm -hmm. such a misused substance. And it's not, you know, in, 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 in these typical areas, they may respect it a little bit more where there isn't as much, um, excess, Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. So it could be a little bit different. The next, uh, the next power nine that they talked about was family first and Annie and I absolutely 100% both agreed. This is not always going to be the ideal, the healthy thing for a lot of, for a lot of reasons. And I don't know, maybe in these blue zones, they don't have as much dysfunction and there's less, you know, psychological, um, you know, issue, you know, mental health, there's less mental health issues for whatever reason. I also feel like, I mean, our, our culture is very different than a lot of other cultures that are very close in their family. You know, sometimes family members are living together for their whole mm-hmm. lives. I mean, there's just a different way of being. And so, like I said, in our culture, that actually might be incredibly damaging and toxic for people. Right. And, you know, when we look at these lists too, Annie and I are always coming from a place of, we don't want people to feel bad if they can't meet these. Like we don't want people to feel bad if for some reason they do have a dysfunctional family. What does that mean? They can't be healthy, right. you know, or, or right. <laughs> or they are a recovering alcoholic and it's like, oh, now all of a sudden that I don't drink wine anymore. Like I can't be healthy. You know, we don't want people to, this is where we kind of get on. Like when, when there's lists or checks, checklists that are given, like, and Annie and I were kind of not really arguing because we just don't do that. But, um, <laughs> you know, um, you know, Annie was was saying too, like, you know, some of this stuff too, just seems like another diet. And, you know, I, I disagreed with her on some respects, because I do feel like some guidelines, some guidelines, but you have to be careful about mm-hmm. the wording of those guidelines. And that's the other piece that wasn't very, they weren't very careful about how they sort of worded certain things. The food stuff feels very um, diety, and yeah. the the other social stuff feels very sales pitchy. Yeah. For example, the this power nine is not only trademarked, you know, but but oh, that's true. I just noticed it, that. Yeah. yeah. It says you know live longer by mm. blah 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 blah. Wait a second. Where's the little outreach of for genetics? Yes, exactly. Okay. And then it, you know, for some of these, it says this will add X number of years to your life. Like you don't know that. No. Like where is the the where is that research? Yeah, exactly. Correct. What was your cohort? It better have been hundreds of thousands of people doing this particular thing. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. the median was X number of years. Like where is that? Because nowhere on here does it say where sourcing is coming from. And that's, to me, again, it feels like a sales pitch or based on opinion. Yes. Because of something that we saw. And I'll, although the gentleman, he did plenty of research, we know oh, for sure. Exist. Yeah. We know you can make modifications to your life. Culturally, we are not anywhere close to being a blue zone. We never will be. The people who in our United States who are living long lives, genetically have it, They it's luck, or they went off the grid and they gave up their phones. They gave up purpose. They right. gave up everything mm-hmm. to be off the grid, living this way with no money, Agreed. very little coming in, going out, all the things. And like Nicole said, again, 
family first can be extremely toxic, Mm -hmm. especially in our country with the amount of abuse that's going on. Oh, regular basis. Absolutely. Um, So when you now tell teenagers who are watching this on TV that, well, family first and your dad is sexually abusing you, how does that make you feel? Right. I, I'm not going to live a long life and I have this abuser and I, it feels really yucky. Right. Right. So, so, I mean, the remaining, the 80, 80% rule, you know, eating mindfully and stopping when you're 80% full, that's wonderful. There is not a single person I've ever worked with, with an eating disorder or without an eating disorder who understands what that means. Sure. Sure. So much of our culture is all or nothing. Mm -hmm. Again, I think it takes a long time to learn mindfulness as we've talked about on here before. Mm -hmm. I agree with this. However, people who look at the, there is not an understanding of this. It takes a lot of time. I mean, I think for many people, five to 10 years is Mm -hmm. tends to be what I see where we can actually learn I think that's a, that's a really true and I think that's a great average. I really do like the next one. I don't like what they have written about it, but I oh. like the the phrasing of move naturally. Mm-hmm. That's yep. not at the gym. That's right. Yeah. Well, and, and that's true, but here's here's the other piece with that. So again, when we're looking at the lifestyle of these people, again, they are finding their food they are then physically working with their food like they're uh, they are um they have to move to make anything happen but basic move it's natural it it is natural movement but what i'm also saying is that again here we go culturally you know i work with my clients all the time with like you know people who have all day sitting jobs like how can we try and move more during the course of that day but it's it's trying to make that happen that is so, it's just not in our culture. No, No, you can have the standing desk and like, yeah, that's helpful. But again, here's the deal with this whole, (laughs) right. Well, but but here's the deal with this though, Annie, what we start then to develop is still, still this whole concept of moving is work. Standing is work. And then all anybody wants to do is sit. Because they and want the, to be the still. reward the, is yeah. burning calories. Oh, well, sure. That's the association. That is there, the association. There is not a, this makes me happy. People yeah. will there argue is. that's, oh no, it makes me happy. Right. Because you, in your brain, you're quote unquote losing weight, burning calories. Like there's right. always more to that story. Right. We as culture do not like moving naturally. And oftentimes we are really, truly, um, we can't. I want to walk to the store. I'm crossing busy streets. I'm it's miles away. It's you're in the city. You're going to get hit by a bus. People are riding, driving their cars in the bike lanes. It's, it's not easy. Or if you live in the country, what are you going to do? Walk on the side of the highway? Like we are, we are a culture built on convenience and I don't know what's a way to get rid of the work and yet still have all of the work in the world. And that's what I'm saying. The whole system has to change. You know, because I think the thing is, is that the whole workforce needs to change and change. And I feel like some of it is changing, but I want to see people have recess several mm-hmm. times a day. Do you know what I mean? Like right. we need to have recess. Like there needs to be a game room. We've got to have more balance and we need to have more fun because you want to go to work and be like, I want to be here. You know, like I get joy from being here. I have fun with my coworkers. I have feel accomplished when I'm doing what I'm doing. Like we want people to feel that way in this, their work environments. And that is not happening. But you I don't want to pay mean? you when you're on your recess. Well, and that's what I'm that's saying. That's part of the problem, right? It's the whole value right. system, the culture in general, and, you know, the, the focus. But the, the values, right. number one, are just completely flipped out, right? And the, right. the really, really ironic thing about this whole, whole thing is that what do people do when they, like, make all the money? They go and visit the blue zones because they can. Right. Do you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what you know it's like oh, but this is so great I know so it's like well but there isn't there's zero reason why we can't 
create that here. Right. But it, like I just said, the whole value system has to change in general. Correct. The next one is being around the right tribe, which I agree with. Yes. Sure, so totally, around of course. Yeah. people who support yeah. positivity and body image and all of the things and right. people who everything you're doing are supportive. But here's the problem. We all have social media accounts with lots and lots of people who we are not actually no, friends those aren't, with that aren't part of a right no, truck. No, they're potentially not friends at all, honestly. You know, Correct. they're not the person we, that's going to come to your aid when you need it. Mm -hmm. No. And we culturally have problems with saying bye-bye to people. Yeah, we that's true. We have an obligation to keep toxicity in our lives, that's whether we true. deserve it or for whatever reason. And that could be family, friends, whomever. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, so many people feel that obligation to keep toxicity in their lives. Like this concept of, well, I only have one friend. Sure. That, great. As long as it's a positive relationship, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, that's also part of that, just, you know, the dysfunction. And I, I guess that that would also be my question. Like, were those things looked at? Correct. I mean, how much of the culture in the families were really mm -hmm. observed? Like how much was right. actually discussed about that? Because, you know, I, I don't know. Well, don't know. and when you live in a small community, small, small community of these mm -hmm. blue tribes, and you're there, that you're there your whole life. Right. You're going to have a tribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can anyone be toxic in a non stressful, green, free healthcare environment? Well, and when everybody's there to support each other because right. everybody wins when you do that, there's, right. what's, there's no reason for the betrayal or backstabbing or, you know, right. whatever, trying to get right. ahead of the, of the guy. And then the last one uh, of the power nine is to belong. And this is all faith-based. And I have a, I, I don't care if people have faith or not, but I have a problem with this in that this is going to, if you attend whatever services of whatever you believe in four times a month, it'll add four to 14 years to your life. Mm -hmm. And I want to give a big middle finger because having high quality family with no toxicity and friends, the right tribe and downshifting, participating in meditation, nature. Why are we adding the faith based piece to it? Mm -hmm. You're you're now putting people into boxes that they have to believe in something or not in something they have to attend. Now, again, you've just added stress. Oh, I only go to services two times a month or oh, I don't sure. go to services. Again, what we are putting a lot of qualifications on this stuff. And I think that that's really shitty. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be part of anything faith-based to be in a really good place in terms of your health. Right. It might be spirituality. It might be meditation. It might be, right. You know, all there's all sorts of things you can right. do to to belong. But not, belonging is wonderful, mm -hmm. but I don't think it has to be faith based. And I do think that creates again or religion. Whose yeah. opinion yeah. was this? Yeah, and it, and it may have been what no. the, yeah. the faith focus is in in some of these places, and um, sometimes that is really big in some of those places. But again, it's also part of the culture. I, I guess. That's what I'm trying Correct. to say is that it's, it's a, it's a natural thing for them. Um, it's a belief system. Um, right. Yeah. Where, right. Where again, there could be some negativity associated with, you know, religious communities. Um, well, and some, some religions people. don't have services. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. right. Do you know right. what I mean? I mean, and it's I, just no. I and I understand what you're saying. You're you're getting down to like what you just said. Also, it's like okay, another thing people have to do, and they're not doing it enough. Yeah, you're not doing it yeah, right. You're not doing it right, or you're not doing it enough for right. right. We want to, but that isn't necessarily the message that we want. People yeah, would, that's, you know, right. It just yeah. feels huh, more pressure. Awesome. Right. Great. Right. So yeah. that's where it. You know, it just doesn't seem. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. I don't know if you want to get into the food stuff at all because yeah. we did have a lot of criticism on that. <laughs> we we really did actually, and I think first and foremost, kind of the way that they even kind of set it up reminds me of the of the pyramid, you know, of the yes. of the old food pyramid. And so I get what they're trying to say, and they kind of broke broke things down into like 
you know, what to do monthly, weekly, and then daily. And I would have to say again, that this is meant really... for a rich white person. Well, and, but not and only yet, that. None of the blue zones are rich white no, people. No, <laughs> but I don't necessarily, I, I, I can't agree with some of this stuff because Correct. number one, it just, it really isn't evidence-based and we Correct. know what's true and what's, what's evident. I also think that when you're looking, oh gosh, Oh, but Nicole, they're living longer. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be really careful here with my words. So yeah. You want me to say it? Yeah, I know. Like Annie and I both really, really struggled with this whole thing. But, and this is when Annie was just like, okay, no, this is turning into like another diet. And not only that, like if we really look at this, this could potentially be incredibly off balance, not balanced at all, actually. And harmful. This could be really harmful for different types of people. And it doesn't take into account like- I don't know. What if someone just has with genetically kidney disease? Well, yeah. And hello. Oh my I mean, gosh. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, I totally agree no. with you. Like, like I said, I don't even want to mention anything. The only thing that I, that is such a good point, Annie. And that's, ugh, it. see, this is the thing. Cause we know that when people see this stuff, they kind of, they, they take it and they run like it. they have, like they have gospel and it's just, and there's still no real, guideline to that like it's and like I said none of this is evidence-based and there's a few things on there where we're like no no you know whatever where does happiness fall in yeah where does does the 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 emotion of satisfaction and happiness from a meal Mm -hmm. with people right or not come into play because let's face it if there's a dessert or a snack that you have once in a while that brings you joy where is that on here yeah 100 this diet to me makes me want to like i would i just kill me early because this is this sounds terrible to me <laughs> well, well here here's the deal though this is not those 90 year old people saying this is what you quote unquote should do this Correct. is american culture creating a should list based on someone's interpretation not on the reality of how it really is you're telling me no one in these cultures in these blue zones is using the fat that they rendered from the beef that they slaughtered on their own property to have for meals they're not using that fat to cook their eggs or their vegetables or to save for other, what does saturated fat consumption look like? What does it not look like? I would agree with they you. They're eating plants, but but I'm going to bet they're not wasting the rendered no. fat. And they don't. They don't. So yeah. this whole concept of, yes. did you see what I mean? No, that's such a good point because that was not ever really expressed or talked about. And you're, you're so right about that. And so many of these cultures drink juice. Right. In our culture is, well, no juice whatsoever. Don't ever drink juice. Well, they they drink a lot of natural fruit juice. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. All I'm saying is eh, this is something created by someone to, again, blue zone. It also makes me think then, too, it was like filtered. It's like filtered information. Like, okay, we're going to make sure that we show this, but we're really not going to show this thing over here because you know, in our culture, that isn't okay. Correct. So it's like, ooh, we can't make it okay over here because we're trying to, you know, influence Correct. the picture that we are trying to create. Around we're still going to make it so sugar's bad. Right. Because right. more people will follow this if they believe sugar is bad because yeah. that already culturally is something they believe to be bad. Yeah. Yet, if you look at the blue zone, the blue zones and what they're eating, and I yeah. do believe this to be true, 65% of their diet is carbohydrate. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Primarily whole grains. Because it's what's available. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's what's available. Yeah. And but certainly that's... you have some vegetable, but do you know how many vegetables you have to eat to get grammage? You know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, get because they're all, in. they're all fiber. It's, it's virtually yeah. impossible unless you want your colon to explode. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Yeah. It's fruit yeah. and whole grains. Right. We still refuse to consume sugar, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. again, 
that's whole grains, that's fruit. That's well, right. And to Annie's, to Annie's point, you know, it falls into the whole category of carbohydrate, which is unfortunately people are still so confused on what sugar is and when it's spoken of in certain terms. And so like what, what this chart and what most things are talking about, but they don't really say, which is what leaves people so confused mm -hmm. is we're talking about added sugar, Correct. table sugar, you know, not, you know, so anyway, ugh, whatever, that's a whole nother subject. It is. And we've done pods on this before because there isn't also anything wrong with added sugar. But again, you, you have to look at this as each individual person. What does your added sugar look like in any given right. day? Right. But to, because this is saying, oh, 28 grams total time out. That's a bowl of cereal. And that would be like if you're eating like fibery cereal. <laughs> <laughs> like that's nothing consumers don't understand that terminology no and how to how to do the math when fiber is included well there's that whole piece too so yeah. i don't care if people want to do whatever diet they want to do but again we've just created another diet yeah i would agree with that completely um so again i Although think this is way better than I would be like, go for it if someone wanted to do this versus keto or intermittent fasting. Yeah, no, I completely understand um, too. There's a few things in there though that aren't fully accurate and, the, and a few things in there that will right. definitely consume the consumer, which is bothers me is what I'm saying. That's, that's the yes. whole piece. But again, we have to keep this in mind. This was created by somebody who lives here, you know, to work with what we're used to seeing in diet culture. That's why this was created, right? This wasn't created or suggested by the 95 year old people that, you know, right. this is what I'm saying. I, I do want to also comment. I know you men mentioned it at the um, beginning of the pod or it's kind of started talking about body shapes and image and stuff oh, like yes, that. Oh, yes, absolutely. When you look at Japan, which there's, you know, a blue zone in Japan and, and culturally they have a, a much better diet than us and you know it's prim you know a lot of white rice okay which is a no-no food in in our culture but and I feel like I've maybe have brought this up before maybe I've just talked to you about it when you look at sumo wrestlers hundreds of pounds and viewed as unhealthy yeah guess what they have some of the best health outcomes of anyone in the world um because of how they manage their diet and they eat in a way to allow them to gain weight that's it's, it's like a, it's a sport and they, you know, they follow a particular regimen with, with sleep and eating. It's really fascinating, but they're also eating in a way where they don't have heart issues. They don't have diabetes. Yeah. They don't. So just to, again, bring light to, I want to remind people, it's not about how people look. Right. These how blue zones are full of all different types of people. Oh my gosh. All different types. No. Our culture, us in the United States, all different types of people. Right. All with different health outcomes. Right. Exactly. And and, and that's the whole bottom line. There's still genetics. <laughs> you can still be 150 pounds at age 50 and have diabetes type 2. You can still have a heart attack at age 45. Easy. By doing all the right things. Right. Oh, speaking of which, and sorry, this is off topic. Five people had cardiac arrests at Ironman, Wisconsin. One was fatal. Again, we're healthy, quote unquote, right? But again, we can take this way too far sometimes. Well, the, the bottom line is that Correct. exercise is stress. And yep. you can take that too far if you're not paying attention to your body. Absolutely. Right. Your body doesn't know that it's quote unquote good or bad stress to your no. body. It's just stress. simple stress. I want people to put that link together, not to I end know. on a bad note or anything, but that it doesn't. <laughs> not to be a heavy downer. Wow. Heavy downer wow. for the last you know, 40 minutes. But, you know, <laughs> your image is not a is not a determinant of, of your life, your health, your, right. Your worth, your, your longevity, health. your anything. Yes. Right. Agreed. Agreed. Your, your positivity, your attitude, yeah. your joy, your, yeah. your lowering your stress that will do wonders for you than all this well, other. 
garbage. And I and I honestly feel like that really is the key with the blue zones. They are outside every single freaking day. They are not on screens. Nope. You know, they're doing doing things that they enjoy for the most part most of the day. You right. know, yes, they're communing, whatever, and they're and they're moving. It's as simple as that. But again, that's a that's a completely different culture that supports that. But one of the main things that that the guy kept saying is the environment, the environment, the environment. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is we don't live in an environment that supports any of that. And we None alone as people have to create our own environment in our own lives to make that happen. You've got to push to make that happen for yourself if you want to change that. Um, and I talk to my clients about that all the time. You can't wait for your environment to show up for you. You know, you've got to actually make that happen yourself. But that's another, that can be another pod. Sorry anyway. <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> it was wonderful. But no. I think it's information people need to hear because there's so many people watching this. Oh, I totally agree. And with when you. we watch a documentary on Netflix, we take it as okay, this is the Bible. As gospel. Go. It's always like that. It doesn't matter what it is. It's always reason. like that. I know. We've got to look at it a little bit more. Yeah. Right effectively so at any rate well thanks for listening everybody and again thanks for um supporting uh, annie and i in our work and if you would like to contribute um feel free to go over to patreon and um, we would really appreciate you being there with us so thanks everybody for listening have bye. a great one bye have questions you want to hear discussed on the show find us on facebook or visit between two pastries.com and drop us a line Want to support the show? Find us on Patreon for exclusive content. If you love the show, find us on iTunes or your favorite podcast platform. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a review.